of the 35. Well, the Lakers starters are a combined five out of 19, while the Laker bench is five out of eight. James, one of those starters, trying to pull his way in, does and has the bucket. Yeah, he was looking for a whistle the whole way and he never did get it. 12 times he's led this team in scoring this year. All-time leading scorer in the history of the league. Had a triple-double against New York last year, last season. LeBron got a hand on that, I believe, from the outside. They're not going to be able to knock that one down. Rebound, Hartenstein, the former Clipper. In the corner, quickly fires it up and rebound to Austin Reeves. They, they, dodge, they dodge that second chance opportunity, but they're going to make sure they gang rebound without Anthony Davis on the floor. Left-handed pass, found the hand of quickly on the deflection, but then Prince controlled. Reeves fires for another three. A rebound now to Josh Hart. Well, the Lakers, they've been giving up an average of 132 points in their last four losses. And you saw what they allowed in that first quarter, 35. Josh Hart, this is from the outside. They get entangled underneath. So Grimes has got it, can't hit. Randall keeps it alive, and finally the Lakers have it. LeBron surveys. He's a Karui Hachimura. LeBron playing a little keep away. Prince now dumps it into the post. Hachimura back to Prince. Everything on the perimeter right now until LeBron decides to try to take it to the basket. And Hartenstein played good defense. Grimes goes right into Prince. And the Lakers take it away. Toe in the line that time was Reeves. Defense. Offense. Throw it down. Jax Hayes behind him. Read that well as he tried to go to his left. Then falling back at the baseline to Southpaw Randall. It was good read by Rui, but the step back got the space that he needed for the hoop. He had off-season ankle surgery and contributed to a slow start this year, but he has really rounded in the form. Speaking of Julius Randle, LeBron, Prince, ball movement. They swing it to Reeves. They don't pick him up. He can't score. He tried to kiss it off the glass. Oh, the pass gets to quickly. Who dunks it home? What an when outlet pass. When you're the only guy back, you've got to make sure when you go for the steal that you're going to get it. Ruiz didn't get it. And they oh, give up a layup. Backhand layup is pretty for Austin Reeves. They just need to clean up a couple of mental errors here on the defensive end. And they'll get themselves right back in. Playing much better defense at home. Significantly better defense at home. But Randall asserting himself has got another one. And he's like most dominant one-sided. And when you let him go to that strong left hand, you got an issue. Last six against the Lakers, averaging 29. This time it's LeBron. Ring it up from downtown. LeBron on the season, a 40% three-point shooter. Just really shooting lights out from all over the court this year. Hartenstein gets fouled. And we've got bodies on the floor. Brunson will five out of the last seven will be on the road. You know, uh, Anthony Davis played the first 10 minutes, and he's had a long... He's a 66% free-throw shooter. Now he's a zero percent on that trip. <laughs> Just both. He is 14th in the NBA in total offensive rebounds. You can see exactly that already in this game. Air ball by Reeves. And kind of alligator arm that one. Julius being hounded there by a couple of Lakers. Randall just trying to, he's out of control. And he got bailed out. Little OC that time by Randall. And then he got fouled as he got into the paint. I thought he lost his. Randall start, stop, change of pace, open, Brunson, look out here. Look out, look out. I tell you, Julius Randall was doing a good job of setting the table, not only for himself, but his teammates. Averages over five assists a game, remember. Got so much more comfortable in that part of the game. LeBron doesn't draw iron. And the rebound is taken down. And that's one of LeBron's pet shots there, that left hand move to the rim thing. Underneath Hart as Reddish. And we have our first double-digit lead. First Cam Reddish, former Nick. Hurt his shoulder, though, and that was that, really. There, here's Russell, corner of the key, that hits the heel. Taken by Taj Gibson, the former Trojan, USC. 
Back in the lead. Back with New York. Brunson. That was off target. LeBron quickly front court. Torian Prince. Gonna fire a three. Just turned and fired. That's the name of the game. You get a, you get a space. No matter the numbers, you just go ahead and let fly. And the Lakers needed that triple. He's third on the team in threes behind LBJ and D'Angelo. Four straight double-digit games for Torian Prince, who had been my right for him that night. Randall, the three. Long shot, long rebound. There's Hartenstein getting a hand on it. Barrett picks up the garbage and scores. Everything bouncing the next way. There were two opportunities there for the Lakers to come up with that loose ball. 48-39, we're in the second quarter. Halfway through exactly. Reddish is open. Got to get a bounce, does not. Quickly, weak side. Out across the timeline in the attacking 47. Now set things up. And R.J. Barrett trying to turn on Russell. Good pass to Hart. Shot and count if it goes. It doesn't go. He'll shoot two. One new thing you don't. AD's back. Reeves. Vanderbilt. LeBron who got the rebound. And Russell. Slowly, deliberately into the front court. LeBron James. He's got AD on his side. LeBron takes it himself. He's got Hartenstein on the ground. Well, Hartenstein took all of LeBron's 260 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> the game and the basketball. Quickly, quick move on D'Lo. Randall he threw out his arm. Threw out his arm and got away with it. And rode it up and in. Julius by 12, the largest lead. Julius, another air ball. Boy, the Lakers, they're having issues. Julius behind his back. Taken, that's a foul. 